I was in love with one Dutch person. Uh, Open up this place because in front of all the schools in Korea, you will find... There are many special coffee shops in Amsterdam where you can get some green stuff. There is a special one where you can get a different kind of green stuff. Today we are going to visit that place, but that green stuff, maybe not the one you have thought. This is Spa Square and this is the popular cookie maker, Van Stapelle. Uh, you know I'm right. There's a after the alley, you are standing next to Sinyal Canal. Turn right and you are at Cafe Magari. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good, how are you? Good to see you. What do you feel like today? I feel like green stuff today. Green stuff? You have some green stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Matcha latte, yes. Matcha latte with soy milk or yeah, almond milk, milk. Okay. whatever you have. Oh, we actually have a boat. Which one you prefer? Soy milk, then. Soy milk. How did you find the name? Magari. I started the business together with my Italian business partner. Magari in Italian means I wish, I hope. Always wishing for I something wish, happy, hope. nice, positive will happen. That's one of the reasons. And my previous business partner, like he has interesting story. He's one of the identical uh, brothers, twin brothers. His brother passed away a long time ago. He always wants to memorize uh, his brother. His name was Ricardo. And then my ex-business partner, his name is Massimo. He wanted to name something together with his name and his brother's name. So I was thinking a lot and then I realized Italians always say yeah yeah magari magari si magari let's you know oh, so magari okay. has Massimo my name is Maggie also Ricardo so everything oh, is in of one that name works. and nice. then it's also positive meaning as well. That's one of the reasons you can see many twin uh, angel like uh, decorations oh. in this place and then you will see near the entrance and even I found some from uh, Roma as well. So I went to the church and I found that they are selling some antique uh, twin angel like items as well. Oh. So I got it as well. You decorated by yourself? Yes, I had to because uh, we opened up this business as a cafe during Corona time. All the shops were closed. The only option I could get some decorative items were from our neighbors, a second-hand shop, mark plots. It looks like more Korean style because we are from South Korea. Yes. For us, uh, cafe means my favorite place outside of my home. Coffee culture is big in South Korea. Really also. huge. And we are one of the, the most coffee drinkers in the world. And then we really appreciate the coffee culture. We always find our like favorite cafes and then we do cafe hoping uh, every day. You get to know people there, you feel comfortable, so everybody has their favorite place. So I try to build that kind of atmosphere in here. Open up this place because I needed a space. Corona time I found out my families are in Korea. My friends Friends are like stuck in their house or they escape to another country. That was the first time ever I felt like I'm here alone. And I also realized I don't even know who is my neighbor. So I wanted to have a space. People meet people or people find people and they can be well connected. They feel just safe and good to meet people. Nothing related to alcohol or any intention. Just good people walk in because of the good vibe and then they encounter each other and they build something beautiful together. So many things happen in this place. How long have you been here already in Amsterdam? In Amsterdam, 15 years now. How did you end up here? Well, actually, a uh, very personal reason at the beginning, uh, okay. I was in love with the one Dutch person. Okay. <laughs> So you are so, fluent, fluent in Dutch now? No, not at all. <laughs> That's why uh, it didn't last that long. So breaking it up? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. uh, okay. So yeah, first I came here to uh, Amsterdam for that personal reason. After that, I mean, I already built my life here. I used to uh, work in a different sector before and uh, I mean, 15 years is a long time. My friends are now here and I felt really like home in Amsterdam. And that's why I decided to stay here. That banana bread was really nice, by the way. Yeah. Wow. 
the best one I have ever Thank eaten. You. It's Thank not you. a compliment. Yeah, we try to make fresh so, banana bread every day. You make it yourself? Yes. yes. I put some love in. Side. That's uh, why uh, it makes huge difference probably. If it's not a secret, which coffee beans you use? We are using Cafe Bourbonne and this cafe, uh, coffee is from Italy, Napoli. It's a small boutique uh, coffee brand mm -hmm. and now it's getting a bit popular in Italy but in Holland it's not really uh. well known. So our coffee is very uh, aromatic and nutty. In the menu, I saw that you made some sandwich or toasty, something like that. Yes. What do you have, for example? The moment for lunch option, we have a Korean toast. This is called Korean street toast. Yeah. Toasted bread and it contains like uh, egg and ham or chicken, uh, cabbage, because I'm Korean, we love uh, cabbage. Yeah. Well. Kimchi, right? Uh, it's oh. not kimchi because it can be too spicy for people, but I just yeah. use a fresh uh, cabbage inside to have like a crunch feeling. And there's a uh, um, corn and a tomato as well. It's quite uh, filling and warm and filling. In front of all the schools in Korea, you will find this street toast because okay. originally it's for the busy people or students. Like they're always hungry, you know. They they would like to make something really quickly, but it gives a lot of like uh, nutrition for kids. And then. We put so okay. many stuff inside and that's how it works. I'm full with banana bread, but next time we will try. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need nutrition. Yes, yes. <laughs> how was it? 